The pandemic continues to hit the entertainment industry pretty hard, especially movie theaters. Now, AMC says it's facing a cash crisis. CNN's Mandy Gaither explains why the theater industry is having trouble getting back on its feet. Beginning October 23, movie theaters outside of New York City will be allowed to reopen at 25 percent capacity with up to 50 people maximum per screen. From state shutdowns to uneasy customers, the movie theater industry is feeling the pinch from the pandemic. Since shutting their doors in March, theaters have tried to reopen with health measures meant to help curb the virus's spread. Yet the industry hasn't been able to get back on its feet. AMC, the world's largest movie theater chain, has had an attendance decline of 85 percent compared to last year. AMC announced this month its existing cash resources would be largely depleted by the end of this year because of the reduced movie slate for the fourth quarter. Major films like the new James Bond have been pushed to next year and others like Disney's Mulan skip theaters altogether going straight to digital. Cineworld Group, the owner of Regal Cinema, suspended operations of all its U.S. and United Kingdom theaters this month, affecting 45,000 employees. AMC said it has two ways out of its cash crisis. Either more customers need to buy tickets or it will have to find new ways to borrow money. For Consumer Watch, I'm Mandy Gaither. In your spotlight, spotlight news, Disney releasing a new trailer for The Mandalorian. Star Wars fans are going to be able to watch the new series in just a few days on Disney+. Plus. Most of the preview focuses on The Mandalorian's continued adventures with the child. It also includes an ominous moment where he is warned about the worlds he is trying to visit. The Mandalorian returns to Disney Plus on October 30th. And John Oliver now has a sewer plant named after himself. The mayor of Danbury posting a picture with Oliver at the dedication. On August 16th, the host of Last Week Tonight did a segment on racial disparities on juries aiming at the city of Danbury. That's when the mayor suggested naming their sewer plant after Oliver. Well, Oliver took the offer and ran with it, saying he would donate $55,000 to local charities if the mayor Agreed, and clearly he did. One honor that doesn't stink. <laughs> or maybe does. Or maybe. <laughs> yeah. Never, never stink. Oh, pumpkin decorating today. Ooh. And they also have an interview with a Dancing with the Stars judge. Oh, mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. She's, I'm, I'm not the judge. No, no, no. Rub <laughs> elbows with the. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, hey, today I don't say lie, though. We didn't know pumpkins could be so pretty. How to turn your pumpkins look at that, into a beautiful succulent garden. And autumn is here, and we share some fall finds to spruce up your living space and how you can get into the Halloween spirit with some scary movies. Yes, and we chat, or I should say Fiona chats with judge and pro dancer Derek Huff on how he thinks this season's going. Plus, we have an exclusive on how you can get free tacos from Holy Smoke Barbecue, and we're gonna reveal where and when in the show today. And we wanna know, so how do you decorate your pumpkin? You carve them, stick your hand in there, and pull, <laughs> pull all the guts out of them, or do you paint them? SA Live continues in just a couple of minutes. A Texas family hoping to sell their 8,325 square foot home near Dallas. Just a little place. The custom built home in Lucas, Texas, just a, about a half hour drive outside of Dallas, comes with its own baseball field. There's also some batting cages, an 85,000 gallon resort style pool, as well as a pond stocked with blue catfish, blue gill, striped bass, and largemouth bass. What, no horse barn? Read more about them right now on ksat.com. That looks nice. Uh, right now we're at 83 degrees. We're going to be up close to 90 today. Uh, we're going to continue this uh, stretch of warmth and humidity. There is a little bit of a change this weekend, 82 on Saturday, and then we're hoping for some bigger changes next week. Cold front, windy, cooler, 30% chance of rain on Monday. Guys. There you go. There's some sweater weather. Thanks, Justin. Ooh, made her happy now. I want to see Mike stick his hand down in the pumpkin and grab all that. The, yeah. All the goo? Yeah, I want to see that. I hope he I think he, I, I, I think so. I think he's actually going to paint a pumpkin. Oh, it's not? You I don't know. Cut well, it first? Look, we're going to have to watch it okay. on SA Live. Have no fear. Fall is here. And it starts right now. 
And today on SA Live, have no fear, fall is here, and we share a few ways to freshen your home for the season and the movies to get you in the Halloween spirit. And don't miss a beat. Dancing with the Stars was last night, and Derek Huff weighs in today. He dishes out the details of the season. And David Elder is live in the kitchen with Chef Johnny Hernandez, and they're cooking up a recipe for Day of the Dead celebrations using products from HEB. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from the KSET 12 studios, this is SA Live. Oh, the pumpkin patch. What? Oh, look. See, there, there. Dig, dig in the, the yes, out of the pumpkin. Yes, I see. Yes, I see that. Hello and happy Tuesday, everyone. I'm Mike Osterhage. And I'm Fiona Gorsiza. He's very excited. <laughs> okay, and we all like to get creative with our pumpkin decorations. Some of us carve up our pumpkins into jack-o'-lanterns, which is something I totally see you doing. Some of us paint them or maybe just turn them into a pie and eat it. So what's your favorite way to celebrate with pumpkins? You're a carver. You forgot about pulling the seeds out there, which can be kind of to, to get all the, you know, the yuck off them, but then you roast the pumpkin seed, a little salt on there, that's great. Yeah, you're see? Busy. All right, so you're a carver. Yeah. Are you a carver? Okay, yeah. I would be a painter. Oh, really? That's a mess. Well, I'm surprised, because then you carve and <laughs> put the candle in there, and the candle burns the lid of the mm -hmm. pumpkin, and you get that good pumpkin, burned pumpkin smell on Ooh, Halloween night. Ooh, that is nice. So for our question today, we pitch it over to you. Do you carve or paint your pumpkins. Let us know at SA Live KSAT on Facebook and Twitter, and you may see your answer a little later in the show. Okay, it is one of those fall trends that you'll see over all over Pinterest right now. Pumpkins to topped with succulent arrangements. Perfect for a fall centerpiece that can last all the way through Thanksgiving. Jen Tobias Trusky met up with the experts from the San Antonio Cactus uh, and Zero Fight Society to see how it's done. Take a look. Hi, I'm Mandy with San Antonio Cactus and Zero Fight Society. We're going to show you how to make succulent topped pumpkins today. The very first thing you do is you've got your spray adhesive and after you have found your pumpkins that you want and you can see we've got all different shapes and sizes, you're going to spray this on and then you take your spag of moss and just tuck it on there. You can find this at the big box stores or at your um, hobby stores in different uh, forms. And then once you've got your spagum moss on there, you're going to take your succulent cuttings that you've hopefully already cut and you just give them a bit of glue. When you cut them, you want to um, look for the rosette shaped ones. You want them plump. You want to cut them just like maybe an inch long. Let them um, callus a little bit because you're just going to tuck them all in. If you're going to use your pumpkin as a centerpiece, you might want to do lower, um, lower items so that you don't have a bunch of height. But otherwise, you can go as high as you want. It's a good idea to use a chopstick to um, hold the succulents in place once you put them in. Because mm -hmm. yeah, the goal is to get them to stand kind of sturdy on their own and we'll fix that one. You uh, put glue all around the stem. You're not gonna hurt the plant. Yeah, and then you typically, cause what they'll actually do is, the longer you leave them on here, they some of these will actually start to root while they're in place and continue to grow while they're here. And so you just pick the ones you want and just scatter around. So this is probably my fourth year doing pumpkins and um, I think they're even a bigger trend now than they were when the first year I did them. It's amazing because now they're everywhere. And so you wanna just alternate textures and colors and um, shapes and sizes. You just, the goal is just to fill in the pumpkin and get it as full and lush as you can. And then once you've got this all done, you wanna let it sit for a couple of days so that it can settle in. And then to take care of it weekly, you're gonna water it. And when you water it, um, this is the only time it's okay to miss succulents, all right? You wanna kind of get in there as close as you can to the base and just, you know, give it a good miss. We are crazy plant people, so we have a wide mix. We have members as young as in their teens um, up to their late 80s. They can find us on our website at sax.org, San Antonio Cactus Zero Fight Society.org, or you can find us on Facebook and Instagram under sax.org, or sax, just look at the SACXS. 
So aside from these cute little table decorations you can make, um, you can actually have, garden, have a lovely garden with succulents and cactus. Um, we're approaching the fall season, so um, most succulents are not frost hardy. We, you should bring them in when it gets below, you know, close to freezing. Hold back on the watering. They don't like, you don't need to water them in the winter because they do store their water in their leaves. And so if it freezes, your succulent might is burst. Yeah, you don't have to have a green thumb to garden with succulents. Um, they are great for people because you can literally ignore them and they flourish. Huh. And these are the creations Jen made over the weekend. Oh of course, my gosh. inspired by those folks. Those are, look at, wow. Inspired by the folks over at the uh, Cactus and Xerophyte Society. And you can do this too. They have a chance to learn from the experts. Got a virtual meeting group with, the, uh, with them tomorrow at 7 p.m. Head over to salive.com and click on the link or click on mm -hmm. that to find the link, mm -hmm. I should mm -hmm. say. I would have thought you just, you know, I didn't realize the tip about getting down in. To the like roots, misting, to the base yeah, of it, to mist and misting. It's the only time you miss them, she said. Hmm. Yeah. And and the other thing, I had thought that you somehow cut the but I guess if you don't cut the pumpkin, it's going to keep for a long time. Yeah, that's neat. That that'll stay through Thanksgiving. Those were very pretty. All right. Well, the Day of the Dead is just around the corner. All right. David Elder is out cooking up a simple dish for the day with Chef Johnny Hernandez. Yes, we are here in the kitchen over here at Chef Johnny Hernandez's house, and he's actually making a really tasty meal right now. You have, this is like an authentic preparation of <laughs> enchiladas, right? Yes, sir. These are, you know, I mean, I think uh, a little different from what uh, San Antonio is traditionally uh, accustomed to, <laughs> but I mean, these are the, the original enchiladas. I think we talked about, you know, our grandmas used to make them this way, right? Yes, yes. But these are... Uh, the original way in which enchiladas were made. And for people at home that uh, don't know the difference between like the Tex-Mex and this version, what is the key differences between those two? Well, the original enchilada was a sauce, uh, a chili sauce that the enchilada, the tortilla was put in, an enchilada in Chile. Ah. That's where enchilada comes from. Look at that. <laughs> so <laughs> it's in Chile, the tortilla, and then queso fresco is probably the most common so it's filled with queso fresco, a little bit of cilantro, and a little bit of uh, uh, shaved onion. There so, you go, look at that. Yeah. Now this is a traditional dish that some would put on an altar for right. Day of the Dead across exactly. Mexico, right? Well, I think the altars for Day of the Dead always have some of these traditional recipes that you know, family members and grandmas and grandparents and parents you know, used to enjoy. So enchiladas, you know, the ingredients here that we have for making mole, I think uh, even a hot chocolate. <laughs> yeah, and you guys are going to be making hot chocolate right now. Well, you, know, you, know, so you we, even have it brewing over there for a second. He's yep. just been a madman in the kitchen since we got over here. <laughs> now, what goes into this hot chocolate that makes it different than, say, traditional hot chocolate you would find in the States? Well, what I think that Mexican chocolate, and I'm going to, I know you're going to, let me, let me just drop the, I have a few almonds. Okay. Okay. There's cinnamon. There's a little bit of anise. Oh, okay. And uh, That's like the licorice flavor, right? The licorice flavor and then a little bit of, um, of allspice. So oh. just hold the lid down and, and then and pulse it right here, but hold the lid down here. Okay. And pulse it. Hey. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're is, not gonna invite you back. You know, I'm just I know. kidding. I think I just got kicked out of John Hernandez's kitchen. <laughs> but you pulse it a little bit? A little bit more, okay. Yeah. You know what, this is fun. Here we go, I'll put it back on maybe, <laughs> maybe one. There oh, there we go, there that's much go. more doable. <laughs> I think there's a hole in it. <laughs> I, set, I, I set you up. I'm sorry. You know what? This is like a, you know, it's okay. But it's no, okay. you have, um, oh, I think yes. uh, Mexican chocolate, the aroma of the cinnamon. There's a little bit oh, of the wonderful. anise in there. Would you like a glass? I'll pour you up here. Maybe if you want some off the wall, I can give you some. <laughs> <laughs> we have to keep our six feet. Yeah, keep your six feet. Yeah. There you go. Grab yeah. your little cup there. You know? Now, you're going to have uh, a lot of these recipes posted online yep. for people to get them as well. Right. So if people were interested in the enchiladas, this hot chocolate, right. moles, things like that, how can they find this information? Yes. So our website is uh, dayofthedeadsa.com. Uh, so we have a lot of the recipes there. And then also, you know, obviously our partner HEB has a lot of the Day of the Dead uh, things that we use to decorate, so those are also available through the website online. Oh, cool! And even so like, you can like the mug, these. like the mug you have there. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, it looks better when it's not. Oh, that's not too bad. It didn't get covered in chocolate. My hand is. But look at this. Now, Chef John, you've done a lot of cool things in your life. You're an amazing chef. You've cooked for the president. You've done so many things. You partnered with M&Ms to make Day of the Dead M&Ms, <laughs> and they're well, only available at HEB. 
I well, think, personally, I, I, that's I, the coolest <laughs> thing ever. I had a small part in the design, but that is actually a special uh, edition M&M's that's only available at HEB. Wonderful. During and if, the Dead. Now, mm -hmm. you're also doing a giveaway for all these HEB items, right? Right. So we're going to put all this in a beautiful bag, and uh, we'll have it available for uh, a giveaway. So all of this stuff. Now, you can get a full set, the napkins, you can get the little mitt over there, you can get the plates, the tray. <laughs> I will be taking those M&Ms, so uh, maybe you can get some later. And look at the cute bags as well. Uh, you can have these. I mean, these are good for, for all year round. Yeah. Very so cool. Thank you well, so much for having us out here. Yeah. I look forward to the event coming up. Of course, you can watch it on yeah. KSAT 12, the Day of the Dead Parade that's going to mm -hmm. be happening. And you know, get these recipes and, and follow them for these giveaways. And don't make a mess in your kitchen when you're cooking. But we'll send it back to Mike and Fiona there at KSAT Studios. <laughs> oh, good stuff right there. Mm. I know. And I love in mm. chili. I never, never Enchilada. And so, in chili. And I go into my HEB and there's the whole yes. display of all the... The day See, of the you're going to file that trivia away. Yes, I am. Yes. All right. Well, for more information on the Day of the Dead celebrations in San Antonio, just head to SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab where we've provided a link. And we don't want to forget to mention that the Day of the Dead San Antonio will go on with a virtual river parade this year. The virtual parade broadcast will on October 30th. That's Friday night from 8 to 10 p.m. So you can celebrate at home. Then, of course, Halloween is the next day. And it's all happening for us right here on KSAT 12. So do not miss it. All right. It's important to vote. Very important to exercise your right. And you can get a free taco after you do. We've got the exclusive. And we will tell you where and how to get the free taco from Holy Smoke Barbecue. And get ahead of your busy end of your schedule with a few fall finds that will spruce up your home and get you into the Halloween spirit. Here. The weather is a bit cooler and people are starting to feel festive. Lifestyle expert Yvette Rios is here to share some of her fall finds to help us get a head start to the season. Hey there. Hi, how are you? I am so excited. I've partnered with some really great brands to help us get through fall and the holidays in style. All right, well, of course, this time of year, a great time for DIY projects. It kind of helps everybody feel festive and get in the holiday mood. How can we spruce up our homes for the season? Sure thing. Well, hopefully we are going to be entertaining friends and family at home for the holidays. And one of the easiest ways to refresh the look of our space is by painting. And I am really excited about this new uh, formula by Bear. It's called Bear Ultra Scuff Defense Interior Paints. Um, they are totally washable, which is a really great thing when I've got two little kids. I've got a four-year-old and a six-year-old, and they always make messes and rub their greasy hands all over the walls and all of the good stuff. So I am really excited about being able to paint with this paint because I can just literally wash it all off my walls. Um, it comes in four different finishes. It comes in an extra durable flat, a semi-gloss, an eggshell, and a satin. So it's got all the different sheens um, that you could ever want. And you can tint it to just about any color you can imagine and pick it up at your local Home Depot or you can order it online. I love that. I've got little ones and dogs at home, and I swear the stuff's <laughs> on the walls, right? It's like you just clean it and yes, boom, you know. You know, five more show up, okay? All right, now I think yes. this year, everyone is just kind of completely ready for the holidays. I think they can just get here, you know, just now is good, okay? So do you have an idea just how to help us get right into the season? Well, I think this year it's going to be really important for us to send holiday cards just because we've been disconnected from each other and we want to just kind of touch base and make sure that everybody's okay let them know that we love them that we've been thinking about them and minted is a fabulous option if you want to create your own cards they create these completely customizable templates they're absolutely beautiful they're designed by their community of 15,000 independent artists um, so the designs are just lovely and there's a really good chance you'll be sending a one-of-a-kind card to everyone on your list and if you feel like maybe designing your own holiday card is a little intimidating they've introduced this service that 
that I think is awesome. Um, you, it's called Text Us Your Photo. So basically, if you've got a photo that you want to use on a card, you text it to 22737. It's totally free, and one of the minted designers will create five different holiday card designs for you to choose from. And then you can just customize it from there, add text, add more photos, whatever you like. And then if you place your order before October 21st, you'll get 10% off of your whole order by using the coupon code Yvette Fall Finds. So I'm going to send a holiday card this year. It's been a couple years since I've done it, but this year I think it's going to mean a lot to all my friends and family to get one from us. Oh, absolutely. Okay, so Halloween fast approaching. What's a fun way to just get right into the spirit? Yes, well, Halloween is my favorite holiday. I, I just love all the spookiness of it. And, you know, once you've got the kids to bed, it might be fun to watch a scary movie. And these are some horror classics from Paramount. The first is a five Blu ray disc collection based on the written works of Stephen King. So they are absolutely classics. There's Pet Cemetery from uh, 1980. Uh, Pet Cemetery of 2019, Reimagined, the, the Stand, The Dead Zone, Silver Bullet, like lots of classics. You're going to get five of them in one collection. And then The Haunting is a really great scary movie. It stars Liam Neeson and Catherine Zeta-Jones and Owen Wilson. It's based on a story by Shirley Jackson that's absolutely terrifying. So you can get both of these at ParamountMovies.com or you can pick them up on Amazon. All right, really great ideas there to bring just a little bit of fright to your night going into Halloween. Where can folks go for more information? <laughs> Absolutely, you can go to inthenews.tv. All right, lifestyle expert Yvette Rios, thank you so much for your time and stay safe. Thank you. Hey, did you see a crazy dance last night? Derek Huff from Dancing with the Stars chats with Fiona about this season's dancers. And next, see 2020 in a whole new way by improving your vision and saving money on LASIK with Manrique Custom Vision. Welcome back to SA Live. Are you tired of your glasses fogging up when you wear a mask? You may be able to save thousands today on Z LASIK with Manrique Custom Vision. Dr. Carlos Manrique has more than 20 years of experience and has performed over 50,000 laser vision correction procedures. And here to tell us more is operations manager, Richard Doinoff. Good afternoon. Hey, how are you, Fiona? Doing as well as we can. All right, so we always hear how fast the Z LASIK procedure is. How long does the surgery take and what's the recovery time? Um, the surgery itself to make you see correctly takes under 10 seconds per eye. Uh, we just request that the patients go home and sleep for about four hours or so and then wake up and you're typically, you're just done with it. So that quick. So for anybody yeah. who might be a little apprehensive about it, it's, it, it's just a matter of seconds, right? Just a matter of seconds, and the, the key to this too, there's no blades involved. It's totally blade and pain free. And of course, Dr. Manrique uh, performs all the procedures and is a trainer for the technology we have here, which is called Z LASIK. Now, safety is on everyone's minds right now, uh, more so, of course, than ever. Uh, tell me a little bit about, of course, the uh, safety precautions that Manrique Custom Vision is taking. Uh, we're still we're still using all the COVID safety precautions. Uh, Basically, we've always been very, very sanitary here, but we've stepped it up. Everything's clean. You know, we all wear masks, the patients wear masks. Uh, nobody in the staff has contracted COVID, just so everybody knows. We've actually very smooth. We've got the safe distancing going on in the lobby, uh, safe distancing in the surgery suite. And it's just, it's been a, actually a very good experience considering. Now you offer VIP one-on-one -on -one screenings. How do those work? And do you have to, is there an extra charge for that? No, there's no there's no charge for the screening. Uh, we just like I said, we just request that the patients come in with the mask on. Uh, we go over the procedure, uh, make sure that it's a good match for them. Uh, the, the screening part itself used to take about an hour or so. It's actually about an hour and 15 now just because of COVID. But at any rate, we just make sure it's good for them. And we can still usually get them in for the procedure within the week. Now, you have no interest and in low monthly payment plans available. Tell folks a little bit about that. Uh, we do have up to 36 months interest free still, which I really can't believe that. And then we have low monthly payment plans. It's with approved credit, but uh, the credit companies, it appears they really, they're sort of loosened up during this time and they're helping more more people out. 
Uh, the clinic itself is, we've seen a lot more approvals on the financing, but uh, we also take the medical spending accounts and flexible spending accounts, and we're trying to make it as affordable for all of your viewers as we can. All right, let folks know how much they can save on Z LASIK if they call today. And depending on your prescription, we are still offering the $1,800 to $2,000 off, of course, a higher prescription, of course, the less you save, but at any rate, um, we like to, we like to take care of all your viewers. We appreciate you sharing the message about Dr. Manrique out there, and we'd love to take care of everybody in glass and contacts. All right. So all you got to do is call or text today and get eighteen hundred to two thousand dollars off your Z LASIK procedure at Manrique Custom Vision. Of course, depending on your prescription, just call two one zero three five four two zero two zero or text LASIK to four five three eight four for an instant discount. For more information on Manrique Custom Vision, all you got to do is visit the website sa.manriqueeye.com. Richard, thank you so much for your time. Good talking, Fiona. Early voting is underway and election day, of course, is November 3rd. You can get a free taco from Holy Smoke Barbecue when you vote. We share the details in just a bit. And it takes two to tango. I get a one-on-one -on -one interview with Derek Hub from Dancing with the Stars and he dishes out on the season so far. Dancing with the Stars, Mirror Ball champion and new judge, Derek Huff is going to burn up the dance floor once again on the show. It'll be the first time he's done so since 2017. And of course, the former Dancing with the Stars pro joins us now. Hey there, Derek. Hi, how are you? <laughs> this is exciting. For the first time in what, like three years, being back in the ballroom must bring back some memories. It does. I was actually just rehearsing in that in the in the ballroom the, the other day. The lights were off. Nobody was in there, and I was just reflecting on all the amazing memories and performances, hundreds of performances I've done, I've done on that floor. Now you previously competed as a pro for 17 seasons. What were your first seasons in the ballroom like? Um, wow. I think I weighed like 90 pounds and looked 12 years old. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I look back at some of those seasons, and I'm like. Yo, I'm like a child. I am a kid. Um, but they were they were they were interesting. It was all trial and error. You know, it was always like trying to figure out what to do. And um, and yeah, I, I kind of grew up, you know, on that show and and not just in age, but just <laughs> as a person and, and as a and maturity and as, you know, the desire to to help others and to, to coach others and to find tools and, and, and modalities to sort of, um, you know, help them. So it's a, it's great. You know, I, I owe so much to the show and I love it so much and to return as a judge and to hopefully pass it forward and pass it on. And, um, sort of that, that, those experiences and that, that knowledge, um, um, you know, it's, uh, it's a joy. Well, I mean, and what has it been like a being a judge? That's my thing today, by the way. <laughs> it's a joy. <laughs> Say again. So is that what it's like being a judge? Is it? Is it been a joy? Still a joy? <laughs> it, yeah, a joy. I've literally said that three times. It's, like, it's a joy. It's a joy. It's my work. Um, it's. <laughs> it's. Uh, no, it really has been a joy. Uh, it's been so much fun. It's. It's. You know. Again, I'm rooting for everybody. I want everybody to do well. I want them to to succeed and to have those breakthroughs and those like amazing moments. Um, it doesn't always happen, but that's what I want, you know. And so you want to encourage them, but you also want to be honest. And I want to try to be as specific as I can with critiques that are obtainable. You know what I mean? Like I don't want to. I would hate to. I, I don't want to give a critique to somebody like, hey, I need you to do this. And when I know like they're not going to be able to achieve that in in a few days. You know what I mean? It's just not possible. Um, so trying to work on certain things that like they you, they can obtain in just a few days of rehearsal, they can actually improve that. Who do you think is the favorite among the 11 couples that remain? Because I know we've got our favorites, you know, Caitlin, Johnny, who's your, Niv. Okay. Who's your favorite? Who's Kate, your favorite? I like Caitlin and Johnny. Caitlin and Johnny, okay, I love that. Okay, good. And and Niv, yeah, he's, he's great. They're, they're, they're top contenders, I would say. You know, I think they're uh, very consistent and they're, they're great dancers. And so I think those are some good, those are some good picks you got there. Okay, now Halloween is coming up and I saw your kind of homage to Teen Witch on Instagram. What gets you in the Halloween spirit? Is there a favorite scary movie? Do you like decorating? 
Yeah, I, I mean, I love pumpkin carving. You know, all 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 the arts and crafts. In fact, in fact, I think I have I have something here. We we were like painting these like skulls the other day. Um, I did, was doing that with my mom and stuff, and and my girlfriend. And uh, yeah, it, I I enjoy that. I enjoy that part. You know, it's it's interesting because as you get older, Halloween and all that stuff. For me, I'm like. All right, let's do some arts and crafts. You're like that's that's it's exciting to me. Oh, well, former Dancing with the Stars pro and new judge Derek Huff, thank you so much for joining us. It's been a joy. Dancing with the Stars airs Mondays right here thank on you. KSAT 12. Well, Derek Huff's return to the dance floor might have been the most anticipated performance of the season. So we knew the stars would have come out guns blazing if wanted to stand any chance of keeping the spotlight on them. And a few didn't disappoint. Watching he and his girlfriend dance, that's just I amazing. Know. Okay, one day at a time actress, uh, Justina Machado, Bachelorette, Caitlin Bristow, and Backstreet Boy, AJ McLean, all continue to shine and stay at the top of the pack with some great performances. Unfortunately, it's competition. That means someone had to be at the bottom. And this, I'm on camera right now. Hi. This week, the bottom two, I was trying to watch the dancers, were NFL star Vernon Davis and Olympic figure skater Johnny Weir. Now, each week, we've been playing along with our SA Live Dancing with the Stars Elimination Challenge. Mike and I get points each week if we correctly guess the celebrity that goes home. Unfortunately for us, our pick this week was a bit off. We both had Catfish, ho Catfish TV host Nev Shulman going home. And as you can guess, of course, that didn't happen. So we got no points. Mm -hmm. in, the end, in the end, judges yeah. saved Johnny Weir. That meant NFL star Vernon Davis had danced his last dance. The last dance. <laughs> dance I love it when we break dance. into song. Uh, if you got our SA Live Dancing with Stars Elimination scoreboard, it still stands at Fiona with 14 points, me with 13 points. I don't know how we got those points, the way the scores, but hey, just go with it, okay? So keep watching Dancing with the Stars Mondays at 7 p.m. on KSAT 12 and SA Live every Tuesday at 1 p.m. to see who ends up the champ of each competition. So who's, are you leading or am I, I in the lead? I, I thought I had a big head in person, but they, I mean, it's even bigger on this. Yeah, you can't fit any hats on that head or, or that one. Okay. <laughs> Turn back the clock <laughs> as the producer's getting in our ear with Plexiderm. <laughs> Start looking and feeling younger in just minutes. And next, it could be a Taco Tuesday for you. Get a free taco after you go vote. The details on the event are right after the break. Well, of course, early voting has started and election day is, we we're just trying to figure yeah, out two, two weeks, weeks from, from today, today, November 3rd. A little perk, you go vote, you can get a free taco. Yes, the first 5,000 voters at the AT&T Center will receive free tacos from Holy Smoke Barbecue Food Truck on November 3rd from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. This year on election day, November 3rd, Holy Smoke Food Truck is giving away 5,000 free tacos to the first 5,000 voters to go to the AT&T Center and exercise their right to vote. And we wanted to do something to help uh, maybe incentivize you know, voters, but also at the same time kind of, uh, you know, help people out a little bit because it's long lines and, you know, there's a bit of a wait, so we figure why not treat them all to uh, brisket tacos. So make sure you're one of the first 5,000 voters at the AT&T Center on November 3rd to grab your taco and to get one of the stickers that says, I voted with the Spurs logo on it. It's pretty cool. So, you know, we've done this a few times already where we've given away, you know, food to, I mean, pretty much a lot of people. I mean, a lot of people are out of jobs right now and we've done our best to try and, you know, give back to the community that has given us so much. Get out there and vote San Antonio. And for SA Live, I'm David Elder. Right way. Free Get tacos. Like that. Can't go wrong with that. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And no matter what, mm -hmm. get out there and cast yeah. your vote. Hey, meet your family. Well, the holidays are almost here, and if you plan to get together with friends and family or who's ever in your pandemic pod, just imagine how amazed they will be to see you going from this to this in a matter of minutes. Watch your under eye bags and wrinkles and crow's feet disappear so you can look and feel your best. The product that helps you with all this is Plexiderm and lifestyle expert Tia Leslie is here to tell us how it works. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, nice to be here. Good to see you. Hey, we've all been hearing about the 10 minute challenge all summer long, how can people get involved? Right, so great question. So Plexiderm's been on the market for about four years now. And in those four years, we've really seen products come and go. So if you're skeptical as to whether Plexiderm really does visibly get rid of under eye bags, fine lines and wrinkles within 10 minutes, I've got some video that shows you really how well this product works. These are our customers sending in these videos and testimonials 
People can't really believe with one application what kind of difference it can really make on their skin. And we realize people are busy these days. You're either working from home or going into the office. So we've really made it easy for you to take the 10 minute Plexiderm challenge at home because unlike any other product, it only takes 10 minutes where Plexiderm can make a complete transformation. So this is what you're gonna get. The folks at Plexiderm for the first time are offering a trial pack for $14.95 plus free shipping. It's a one-time cost and it comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee the day you get the packet in the mail. And this is what you'll receive. You're gonna receive six different applications of the serum. So remember, any type of visual sign of aging that might be popping up, maybe you've got some under eye bags that are coming in that are really hard to cover up, you really want to decrease the circumference of that bag, this product will do that. Fine lines and wrinkles, maybe the 11s, we're all squinting on our phones, Zoom and Skype, I know I'm guilty of it. This product can really make a difference. So take the 10 minute Plexiderm challenge at home for yourself and see what a difference it can make. So what exactly is the Plexiderm effect? Yeah, great question. So I always say it's the wow factor. So after you apply Plexiderm to clean dry skin and let it sink in for 10 minutes, when you look in that mirror, you're not gonna believe what you see. This is an amazing product. People all over the world have been commenting that with just one application, those fine lines and wrinkles just diminish dramatically. And then also because Plexiderm has been on the market for four years, they've gotten so many emails and phone calls from people that feel like they're not only transforming their outside, but their inside as well. So smiles are off the charts, their confidence. People are really loving what this product can do and they're using this all from the comfort of their own home. No need to go to a doctor to go the injectable route. People love this product so much because you are in control of it. Take the 10 minute Plexiderm challenge and see for yourself. And once again, how much can people save by getting Plexiderm today? Yes, $14.95 plus free shipping. So pick one up for your mom, for your boyfriend, for your husband. Again, maybe you're a busy mom, maybe you're a busy executive and you don't have a lot of time to try a new product. This is a real a no-brainer. People love this product. If you've seen it on social media, on commercials, or you're using something currently that really isn't giving you the effect, you got to try this product. It's called Plexiderm. Well, the results are real. Try the 10-minute challenge with Plexiderm right now. You can get a trial pack for just $14.95 plus free shipping. Just call 800-706-3765 or visit PlexidermTrial.com. Tia, nice chatting with you. Thank you. Thank you. Meet your family's needs and select the right health coverage plan. Community First will help you navigate all of your options. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, there are many options when selecting the right health coverage for your family. Community First Health Plans has been here for 25 years and can help you with important questions about health care. Here to tell us more is Cynthia De La Pena, Senior Manager of Corporate Communications and Marketing for Community First Health Plans. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Fiona. So it's important to know what each plan offers and what your family's needs are. So when applying for Medicaid, what makes those health plans different? So what's important to know is that all the healthcare benefits that each Medicaid program provides are all the same. However, there are extra value added benefits that are offered individually by each plan. And those are the ones that vary. So for example, certain plans can offer extra vision benefits, which offer you the allowance to get up to $125 extra for glasses or contacts. You can get a uh, no cost sports physical. You can get a free smartphone and uh, free car seats and play yards for your child. Now, are these extra benefits only for the Medicaid member? In some cases, these benefits are also for family members. So for example, there is a prescription discount savings card that offers up to 80% discount for family members that do not have coverage. So those are some perks of having this program and it allows your family members to get these discounts as well. So how is Community First different from other health plans? Well, that's a great question. Community First is the only locally owned and managed health plan in San Antonio and the surrounding counties. So that means that when you're calling us, you're calling your neighbor and a friend. We know the community just as well as the people who live and work here. And that's what makes us extra qualified to be able to provide you that quality health care that you need to be able to uh, live uh, it, you know, well here in San Antonio without any extra factors affecting your health care. 
So do you have any tips for anyone who is new to Medicare or Medicaid? Yes. So you definitely want to be well informed with whatever needs you may have. And you can contact 211 to fill out an application and speak to an operator. Or you can contact Community First directly at 210-227-2347. All right, Cynthia, thank you so much. If you're looking for Medicaid answers, Community First Health Plans can help you navigate through it. Just call 210-227-2347 or visit their website, cfhp.com. Once again, Cynthia, thank you so much for your time. Thanks, Fiona. Tomorrow on SA Live, it's not just any cheesecake. A local baker is showing us her special twist on a holiday delectable treat you might not know about. Plus, still looking for places to celebrate Halloween? How you can trick or treat at one of the wildest spots around town? It's tomorrow at 1 on SA Live. All right, earlier we asked you, when it comes to pumpkins, do you carve them or paint them? Monica says, we carve. It's turned into an annual tradition. Look at that oh, table full of family. I love that. Everybody's got the group on. Yeah, see, it's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. Jacob. Vicky says, I like to carve the pumpkins. She craves carving. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> Mary, wash them down with vinegar to make them last long. Really? Love oh, pumpkin seeds, too, okay. after carving them. Vinegar. All right, thank tip. you. All right, Lupita says, carving my pumpkin this weekend. She's getting it up and running. Good idea. And Jacob says, don't forget to mask. Oh, how cute. Look at that <laughs> you know, pumpkin you're with see the mask. a lot of those. Oh, and he's got another one, a B-cycle bike pumpkin <laughs> with the glasses. That looks great. Wow, look at that nice. one. Way to go, Jacob. Hey, I found a drywall saw. I a know. handle works right? very well in carving pumpkins. It's those little kits, a big old drywall saw. So. All right. And we'll save the pumpkin seeds. Mm -hmm. Salt, roasted. Mm.